Hello and welcome to the Micrometal Blog. I'm your host, Abby Stancato. Today, I'll be discussing the seven rules for installing a curb adapter. Are you ready? Number one, verify the submittal. Research the specifics about that existing curb. Too often, contractors discover the unexpected after removing the existing rooftop unit. If you can't find the existing information, you'll need to measure the existing curb. Micrometal offers a worksheet to assist you with this process. Number two, static pressure. Most curb adapters will add static pressure to the existing system. So, equipment suppliers should always consider the inclusion of high static fans on replacement units. Number three, where's the ductwork connected? Your ductwork for your supply and return should always be attached to the existing roof curb. However, imagine your surprise when the crane lifts off the old unit while mutilating the ductwork connected to the rooftop unit. Now, although extremely rare, I once experienced a large curb welded directly to the base rails of the existing RTU. And serious damage occurred when the crane damaged the roof, the curb, and ductwork. All right, here we go. Number four, inspect the existing curb. Always inspect for warping and bad or broken welds on the existing curb. If the sheet metal gauge of the existing roof curb is too thin, it may require additional support before you add the weight of a curb adapter and perhaps larger RTU. Now, if your existing rooftop unit is sitting on two by fours or metal I-beams, we have solutions, but you'll need to take pictures, measure, and contact Micrometal for a customized adapter. Furthermore, bad welds can lead to failure from additional loads and cause water leakage. Inspect it early to prevent additional cost. Number five, where's the supply and return? Ensure that the supply and return openings are correctly labeled when ordering a curb adapter, especially when working with a, an existing curb adapter, which has been turned 90 degrees to reduce static pressure because it's way too late once the crane's on site and the curb adapter's been purchased. It's only as simple as removing a panel on the existing RTU to assure the existing curb documentation is correct. Number six, clean and prepare the existing curb. Take the time to prepare your existing curb. Clean all surfaces and install a new gasket ceiling without creating gaps. Here's a simple rule of thumb. Can you rock the existing curb adapter in any direction? Because if you can, seal it up before the new RTU goes into place and while the crane is still available. Finally, number seven, a general inspection of the job site. Inspect the job site for any possible issues that may arise, and here's a few to look out for. Check the clearances around your job site. Are you adding exhaust fans? Are there walls or other rooftop units? If our standard curb adapter needs modification to better fit the environment of your work site, that's no problem. Micrometal offers customized solutions. Now remember to check and disconnect all gas and electrical connections from the existing rooftop unit before having it removed. Secure any wiring or piping coming up through the existing curb, which is to be connected to the new curb, and be certain to identify any possible obstructions which could interfere with the crane path. Follow these seven simple rules for replacing a curb adapter and your next job will run smoothly. Remember to check back to Micrometal regularly for new topics and don't forget to sign up for the Micrometal monthly newsletter. So I'll see you next time and be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Take care.